Hello there and welcome to Linux S2O and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a boring looking terminal look very amazing. So this is the terminal that you have with the Ubuntu by default. So here is the terminal and you can see it does not look that much of amazing but we can make it look amazing. So if you want to make this terminal look like something this. So let me just minimize this and to show you my primary terminal that I have. So this is my primary system and this is my terminal and the terminal looks really really amazing and the text is really coming up with the theme. So this is how it looks like. So it has a good text, the color combination and some kind of presenting text over the top. So let me show you how you can do this in your system and make your terminal look amazing. So this is a host that I have set up with my virtual box. So this is the default terminal. So first of all what we wanna do is we want to get a theme that will go with the design. So I'm gonna give you two links in the description. Using that link you will be able to download these two files. So these, these are the archive file for Orches theme. So just extract this file here and uh, paste this file into the themes folder. So I'm going to cut from here and I'm going to home then I will press ctrl H to view the hidden files and I will find the dot themes folder. And if you can't find the folder like uh, it is not available here then you can create a new folder. Just uh, right click and type dot themes. Remember to type dot before the folder name. So this is the newly created folder and if you already have then don't worry just paste the theme files here. Then you need something known as gnome tweak tools and uh, this is for gnome desktop environment but if you are using any other, other desktop environment then you probably have it by default just different name. So this tool you can install using the link I'll provide in the top right corner there will be a video watch that and uh, you will be able to install this tool in your system if you don't have it so just uh, go to appearance and uh, choose the newly installed theme so application theme just click on arches dark compact and uh, inside this uh, arches dark compact okay so i'm just going to cross this window here and i'm going to into the terminal again now it has started to look a little bit appealing so I'm going to change the settings of this terminal so this is the default settings window so I'm just going to select here a custom font and you will have to select this mono cape bold so you can find it here and uh, make the font to 14 and select it so this will increase the font and change the default font and you want to change the initial size of the terminal so this is the size of the terminal initial so I'm going to make look like something this so this is 95 cross 22 so I'm going to make it 95 cross 22 and I'm going to leave the settings like this and I'm going to use here a custom theme so just to uncheck that and choose any theme that you want so I'm going to go with the okay let's go with the default theme okay and I'm going to just change here the built-in schema to Linux console so that way it will look different and let me close this window here now let me open the terminal again so this is how it looks now and uh, I'm going to install new fetch in the system to get that information so just type sudo apt install new patch okay it's already installed in the system let me just run it again new patch so this is the application i have to change the size again so this is how it is looking now but the wallpaper is not looking very good so i'm going to the download folder again and I have this wallpaper you will find the link to this wallpaper also in the description below so let me just change the wallpaper now it will look good so if you want to have that presenting text 
on this on the top of uh, this beam then what you can do you can simply go to your file manager then go to home press ctrl h to view the hidden files and there you will find this file dot bash rc and if you don't have then don't worry just create a new file by this name dot bash rc and open this file inside this file you can execute commands and cell scripts so i'm just going to use a tool known as figlet so before using that tool you have to install it so i'm going to the terminal i'm going to type sudo apt install figlet and uh, this will take few seconds because it's a very little tool so what figlet can do it can figlet basically so you just type figlet and any text that you want for example linux h to O and this will turn it into figlet you can also try different styles for example if I type figlet then this F there is a style called bubble so if I type Linux H2O and this will make it look like this so I'm going to paste this command inside that uh, file bash.rc file just uh, select this command and copy it from here and go inside this file so is the file and uh, just paste that command at the end of the file so just simply paste it so this is figlet-f and uh, this is the command so i'm going to save this file and i'm going to close the terminal and start it again now you can see uh, this presenting text over the top of this beam right so you can paste anything that you want for example if you want some fancy text there then you can visit fsymbols.com i think that's the name of the website so just to type f symbols yeah it's fsymbols.com here you can find a different kind of symbols for example if your name is boss botson then you can type there botson and it will show you different types of the design by the name of Watson so for example if you like this design here then you can simply copy from here and go inside the file let me just okay this is making me sick so I'm going to preferences and uh, I'm going to uncheck this box here so that it won't highlight that line so I'm going to add a pound sign here so this will make it a comment so it will not execute now and i'm going to type here echo to print something and anything that you want to print so i'm just going to paste that name copy it name from there and save this file again if i open the terminal again now you can see the bots name is written over there and you can use any symbols from the website that you want to display it when you open your terminal so there are a lot of designs over here so you can use any of these so that way you can make your terminal look amazing and not boring like the default ones that you get with your linux distro so that was it in this video and i hope you liked it and if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment below i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux